Hey guys, I'm so glad you've joined me for day four of this week. Today we get to talk about Noah's Ark, and this is always such a fun story. We get to talk about Noah today and tomorrow. But before we talk about Noah, let's talk about what we discussed yesterday. We talked about how God made you special, and that he loves you no matter what. And I hope you don't ever forget that. I hope that you made a picture of yourself um, to put on your fridge and that you um, drew some pictures that were all about you and talked about how special you are with your family. Okay, so I we're going to sing a couple songs. We're going to sing the God Made Me song because we talked about that yesterday. But then I'm also going to sing a new song with you today. And I'm sure some of you have heard the song in BBS growing up. Um, so sing along with me if you know it, and if not, you're going to learn it. All right, so this song we're going to start with is God Made Me. God made me and all of you, all of you, all of you. God made me and all of you. He loves us. God made frogs and birdies too, birdies too, birdies too. God made frogs and birdies too. He loves us. Okay. The next one we're going to sing is we're going to sing Arky Arky. And this is one that I grew up singing at Vacation Bible School. And I thought it would just be really fun to sing it again because it goes along with Noah. All right, it goes like this. The Lord said to Noah to build him an arky arky. Lord said to Noah to build him an arky arky. Build it out of gopher barky barky children of the Lord. So rise and shine. Give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. And give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. And give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The animals, they came in, they came in by twosies, twosies. Animals, they came in, they came in by twosies, twosies. Elephants and kangaroosies, roosies, children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. Give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. And give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It rained and poured for forty daisies, daisies rained and poured for forty daisies, daisies almost drove those animals crazy, crazy children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. Give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The sun came out and dried up the landy, landy sun came out dried up the landy landy everything was fine and dandy dandy children of the lord so rise and shine and give god the glory glory rise shine and give god the glory glory rise and shine and give god the glory glory children of the lord awesome i hope y'all had fun singing that with me or at least learning it with me. We'll sing it again tomorrow with our other lesson. Okay, let's do our memory verse. Genesis 1, 1. Say it with me. Here we go. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1, 1. Very good. All right, so we're going to talk about Noah today. So I've got my Bible that I read to you from the other day. And we're going to talk... We're just going to do the first part of the story of Noah today, and then we're going to finish it off tomorrow, okay? Because I have a craft that I want you to do with the first part of it, and then we'll do the rest of it tomorrow. All right, so here is Noah. Noah was a godly man. He walked with God. The earth was very sinful in God's eyes. God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all people. I am going to destroy them and the earth. Make yourself an ark. Bring male and female of every, hold on, sorry, every living thing into the ark. Take food for you and for them. Store it away. 
Noah did everything exactly as God commanded him. Noah and his family entered the ark. Rain fell and the waters rose. The ark floated on the water. Every living creature on the earth was wiped out. Only Noah and those who were with him on the ark were left. Okay, so I've got a couple of pictures. And while I'm talking to you about those pictures of the story of Noah, I'm gonna, um, we're going to go back through the story, okay? So here we go. Here's how the story begins. God looked down at the people of the earth, and he was very sad. No one was choosing to do the right things. They were being unkind to each other and making bad choices. God was sorry that he had made man. Then God saw Noah and his family. Noah and his family were choosing to do the right thing. God decided to send a flood to cover the entire earth. Only Noah and his family would survive. So people were making bad choices. We talked about that with Adam and Eve, that they made, um, they made a mistake, but then they learned from that mistake. Well, these people on the earth were making lots and lots of mistakes. And because of that, God decided, I'm going to wipe them out because they're not making good choices. Noah walked with God. God told Noah that he was unhappy with the way all the people were acting. He would send a flood over the earth to destroy them. God told Noah to make an ark or a big boat out of gopher wood. Noah knew exactly how big and tall to make the boat. He knew to place a window near the top and where exactly to put the door to the boat. God told him exactly how to build the ark. Once the ark was finished, God told Noah to take his family into the ark. God told Noah to bring the animals onto the ark, both male and female. God brought the animals from all over the earth to Noah. Noah gathered them into the ark. God closed the door to the ark once Noah, his family, and the animals were safely inside. It began to rain. It rained, and it rained, and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. All the people and animals left on the earth were destroyed. Only Noah and his family were saved. God looked down and saw that Noah was a good man, and he loved God, and because of that, he saved him. Okay, so we're going to stop our story right there. I want you to think about a couple things. Number one, God sent, God told Noah, build this huge ark. Huge, huge, huge ark because it had to hold all of these animals. What do you think it felt like to be on that ark with all of those animals? Do you think it was ever quiet on the ark? Do you think, what do you think it smelled like? Those are things I've wondered before. I've wondered what it was, um, how it would be like to be on that ark because there were so many animals of all different kinds and they were trying to take care of the animals. And, you know, it's been raining a lot lately here. And after a while, you get tired of the rain. Now, I love the way the rain smells and I'm thankful for the rain because it gives us um, water for our plants and our grass and our trees. But after a while, the rain gets... Um, you get tired of being stuck indoors. Do you think that they got tired of being stuck indoors? It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And then it was another 150 days before anything happened. They were on the ark for a really, really long time with all of those animals. I love animals, but I think that would be hard. Okay, so for your craft today, you get to draw your favorite animal and then at the bottom you're going to write what your favorite animal is do you think noah had a favorite animal that he loved to spend time with on the ark i don't know something to think about so you're going to draw your favorite animal and then you're going to see who all in your family what all their favorite animals are i hope you have fun with that and we will finish the rest of the story tomorrow have a good night